Okay guys, today we're talking about the brand new, just released Panasonic Lumix S 85mm 1.8 prime lens for all full frame Panasonic Leica L mount camera systems. This new addition beefs up that full frame L mount alliance lineup by offering a more affordable, compact and lighter weight Panasonic prime lens for those shooters who don't want to drop a brick of cash on a Lumix S Pro lens. So let's take a look at what it can do. Panasonic announced over the summer that they are updating their L-mount lens roadmap with four new compact F1.8 primes. This 85 millimeter is the first to officially drop, but it is anticipated that it will be followed by a 24 millimeter, 35 millimeter, and a 50 millimeter 1.8 as well. So as for this 85 millimeter, Let's talk about the build quality. This new lens is very light, weighing just over 12 and a half ounces. It's a plastic casing all the way through, but the lens itself and all the elements are glass. It measures just over four inches in length. So yes, this is a very compact lens for a full frame 85 millimeter. The rubber focus ring operates smoothly and is ribbed for follow focus attachments to grab a hold of. And the thread size is 67 millimeters for filters and attachments. First impressions, this lens doesn't feel cheap or flimsy and it focused fairly easily on my Panasonic S1 manually. I wanna talk a little bit more in depth about autofocus and we will do that in just a moment. Now, while not completely weather sealed, the 85 millimeter is dust, splash and freeze resistant down to about 14 degrees Fahrenheit to withstand harsh conditions. Overall, it feels nice in the hand and seems to be constructed well and with nice precision. Moving on to image quality. I love a good portrait lens and an 85 just works well in so many situations, especially since I can choose on my S1 to shoot in either full frame or APS-C crop mode, giving me a tad more reach. I was very impressed with the images I was able to capture with this lens and I found that it offers a very nice compression and sharpness, something that is expected from a high quality 85 millimeter lens. The Lumix full frame cameras have such a great sensor quality, image quality and color that the 85 just fits right in helping to create beautiful portrait stills and video. Right here, I'm manually focusing and taking advantage of the S1 in-body stabilization to smooth out my handheld shooting. Even though it has no IS built into the lens, it's handling the motion very well. I'm very, very, very happy with the images that we were able to capture. Now let's talk about autofocus. I'm always interested when Panasonic releases a new lens because I wanna see how it performs on the Lumix Contrast-based autofocus system. In my opinion, Every lens acts a little bit differently on this system, so I'm always trying to find a lens that works really well with Panasonic autofocus. In still photo mode, the Lumix S85 1.8 worked very well. Shooting here, I'm using the S1's face, eye, and body detection to lock on, and it was tack sharp, no problems. The autofocus was snappy, and I wasn't really frustrated here using the lens for autofocus. For a longer lens, the 85 focuses quite quickly and it was a nice surprise to see this on the system. Now in video mode, it was par for the course with the 85 doing its best to lock on in the same face, eye and body detection mode. Flipping over into the eye tracking only mode, the results were similar. Not bad, not amazingly great, but autofocus was eventually achieved. You may need to play around with it and see what settings work best for you in your situation. I'm actually using the 85 millimeter on my Panasonic S1 right now to film this talking head portion of the video and you can see here how it's working. Panasonic also claims that the 85 suppresses focus breathing for true form focus without slight aberrations when pulling focus in video mode. So just how much is this compact lightweight prime going to cost you? $600 right here at Adorama, which I think is a great price for a brand new prime lens that has a great pedigree with all of the Lumix S and S Pro goodness that Panasonic has thrown our way lately. And whether you're a user of the S1, S1R, or the S1H, or the recently released full frame baby brother, the Panasonic Lumix S5, this little 85 full frame lens will be a great addition to the family. So overall, I think this lens is a great buy. Since there really is no prime lens option in the 85 millimeter focal length in the Lumix S or S Pro line at this time, the thinking behind releasing this 85 offering first is a smart play by the people at Panasonic. So this 85 millimeter option is a much more affordable way to go and it's a great little lens. Subscribe to the channel and definitely make sure you check out more videos here on Adorama TV. Happy shopping.